I moved to Portland and I decided I was going to start one more band and that was going to be it. I was 30, which in the rock it was almost ancient, old. Yeah. ancient, <laughs> yeah. just ancient. Yeah. And, uh, I put an ad in the paper and got some guys and played all summer and fall. And then I got a chance to record a demo. I was digging a ditch for extra money or digging out a garden for extra money. I saw these guys going, hipster guys going in and out of a garage um, or a basement. And I'm like, oh, it's a drug deal, right? That's a drug deal. <laughs> and it was actually, I, I yelled at the guy. I go, hey, what's going on? He goes, yeah, you're in that band Evergreen, right? And I go, yeah, whatever. Yeah, Evergreen. And uh, he goes, want to see my studio? And I'm like, it's pretty cool. It's a quarter inch eight track. He had some cool mics and, you know, total eggshells on yeah. the walls type of thing. I'm like, how much you charge? He goes, 10 bucks an hour. I go, I've got a an old quadriverb and a, a digital delay. Um, would you be interested in trading for it? And he goes, yeah, man. I brought it over. He goes, I'll give you $400 in trade for it. That's 40 hours. We had 12 songs. I go, That's all you need. awesome. And we recorded it and made up a bunch of ta tapes and I sent them to venues and writers and papers all over the Northwest. And on the way back, I called my girlfriend. She's like, Man, you better get home. There's 62 messages on our <laughs> on our phone machine. This is before voicemail. This right. is phone machine. Yeah. People were going crazy for it. They were calling it the best Portland debut record. So, yeah, and that's how it started. 